Hello. This is Rampton. I am PhD student in structural engineering. I use text-to-speech algorithm in Python to create my videos. In this video, I am going to do a fast Fourier analysis of a harmonic force. Here, I want to define a force called P, which is equal to 1, multiplied to cosine omega t. We know the relation between frequency in hertz, and angular frequency which is omega. Then, I rewrite the force in frequency. Let me define t, p and we have f equal to 1. t starts from 0 with time step equal to 0 0.1. P is equal to cosine 2 pi ft. I would like to arrange everything in the middle of the cells. Also, I like to turn off the grid line. Now I define T, P and we have F equal to 1. We should note that, when we want to use FFT in Microsoft Excel, number of samples should be a power of 2. What it means, let's suppose n is 5, then, the number of samples should be 32. Now, I start ROM 0 to 3.2. To see the number of samples, I can use count function in Excel. Now, n is 33. So, I have to delete the last number. If I propagate the formula of the p, I will have p as a function of time. I can plot p. This is p as a function of t now. I want to do a fast Fourier transform to see p in frequency domain. We know f is 1, therefore, we should have a peak at frequency equal to 1 in frequency domain. In Excel, we need to enable analysis tool pack. To do so, go to File, Option, Add-ins go make sure Analysis Tool Pack is checked. As soon as you enable it, dot you can find it in Data tab. Data Analysis. Click on Fourier Analysis dot select your data in time domain.
and I want to see the result in the cells next to it. I copy the address and just change H to I. Now we have a set of complex number which represents the P in frequency domain. We need absolute value of these numbers. We need to plot these P in frequencies. We have to understand something that I will review here. Delta T is difference between two subsequent time. Here, delta T is 0.1 second. FS is sampling frequency and defines 1 over delta T it is 10. Delta F will be 1 over number of samples multiplied to delta T the first frequency is 0, and the next of is 1 multiply to delta F, and the next is 2 multiply to delta F and etc. I define the new variable which starts from 0 to 31. To get frequencies, I just need to multiply this variable to delta F now, I have all frequencies. An interesting thing here, is that P in frequency domain will be repeated after FS divided by 2. You can see the results repeated after 5 Hz. Now, I plot absolute value of P in frequency domain only until 5 Hz. As we expected, the peak value occurs at f equal to 1 Hz. Here I want to use another force frequency to see the accuracy of this method. I change f to 2. Therefore, we should have peak at 2 Hz. I redo the Fourier analysis. As you see, the peaks occurs at 2 Hz. Let me change F to 3.5 Hz.
That was the fast Fourier analysis using Microsoft Excel.